scene two is going to incorporate um, the ball ends, the handle rod. It's going to primarily focus in on those areas and obviously in this area here. So what we want to do is move the playhead out um, about three seconds. Again, making sure that the view is being recorded. And we will zoom in on these particular components because these are going to be the main components in the in the scene. We'll move the playhead head out some more and go to transform, select the ball end. We will click and hold on the arrow along that axis to move that ball end off of the end of the handle. Click on OK. Move the playhead out. Because what we're going to do is readjust the camera so it will focus in on this end or this ball end. Go to transform, select that ball end, click and hold on the arrow, and create the translational movement along that axis. Click OK. So we can kind of see in the timeline, we can kind of readjust and reposition the camera as well as the um, the movement that we created. So if we go down to the controls and restart it, and it will zoom in on that particular area. The ball end on the right will move. The ball end on the left will move. Again, you can use the same technique as we did before with having those two kind of fade away. So we can put the playhead at that particular point. Um, if you want to assign the fade or the hide option to the ball lens, for example, you can do so easily by selecting the view. So it'll stop recording, and you should see something that says view is not recording. This will allow you to move the product in the scene without it showing up, without that movement showing up in your timeline. We can place the playhead near the area where we want that ball in to disappear. And if you select that ball in, you will see it show up in the browser. So then you can just click on the hide option. And what will happen is it will disappear at this point. If you wanted the ball end that you assigned this visibility to, if you wanted, to, wanted it to start to um, fade away earlier, you can just click and hold on that uh, visibility icon and drag it over. The other thing that you could do is if you want the duration of this to be longer, you could click on it, do a right mouse button click and go to duration. Right now it's set to 0.5 seconds. You can actually change this to um, another length of time and click on the green check. That'll make that happen longer. So you can move this along the timeline where you want it. And that way, when it goes, when it starts to move, you um, can have it to start to fade away earlier. And so adding a little length to the time will actually give you um, the opportunity to see it fade away. So we'll do the same thing to this other ball end. Just right click on it, change the duration to one. 
and click on it and again move it so we can kind of see this one fade away as well so the handle moving um we'll take the playhead out and zoom out of this so we can actually see more of the handle then we'll take the playhead move it out some more click on the handle go to transform and you can either have it to go this direction or the other direction either way you want to do it so we just kind of have it moving along that axis click on okay and we could also again assign the visibility so we just click on the eye that will change the visibility and we can actually move this so we can start to see it happen sooner change the duration to one that way as this as this is moving out of the um, sleeve it'll disappear from the scene